Katie, thank you for coming out to the clinic. I hope you get a lot out of it. We're going to start with your underwater right here. And uh, your stroke looks very relaxed, very comfortable. Your body rotation looks good. It is well balanced. You could probably rotate a little bit more onto the right side right there, but uh, that's just a small amount. You're gliding well. Uh, your arms are going in at a little bit of an angle at the front. Instead of kind of piercing down, try to make sure you're extending straight out. See how those hands are going in right there and there. They're at a downward angle. Just creates a little bit of a little bit of resistance. So try to uh, reach out a little bit further out in front. Uh, try to keep your shoulders just a little bit shallower than they are, so that your hands, elbows, and shoulders are, are lined just right below the surface of the water. When you come off the wall like that and you dolphin kick, uh, you've, you've got to get a, a tighter streamline and, and uh, at least two or three dolphin kicks to really make it worthwhile. Uh, so if you want to do the dolphin kick, uh, you know, you got to work a little bit more on that, tighten up a little bit. Uh, your pull on the water looks good. Watch, look at your elbows there. They're outside the, outside the shoulders. The right arm uh, could be a little bit wider. Uh, but again, right there looks good and right there looks good. Um, Head position is good and so it's just really your entry there now the other thing is that you have your pull is at sort of a consistent speed so I think for you your your speed uh, is going to be picked up by picking up your tempo a little bit so as you start pulling you want to start accelerating your stroke through the pull down to your waist and then release and do your recovery so I think you want to start picking up the tempo a little bit because you have a real uh, real a comfortable looking stroke uh, as I could say uh, the above water here all looks real good I look for your elbow position your shoulder position your head position and um, you know anything that looks uncomfortable is a very very comfortable there so I would focus on work on some sprint drills work on some acceleration accelerating your speed accelerating the pull through as you get in that pull increase that speed as you come along I think that's probably going to be your next step for improvement so I wish you best of luck.